Good morning. Welcome to Phil's Camping Reviews. My name is Phil. I'm going to put a link just up here to a video help in explaining the context of what this video is about. Go watch this short video here first from my mate Saw Adventures and then come back Now that you watch that video, or if you haven't, don't worry, you'll understand what I'm going about to cover on this video here. As you're aware, I recently, approximately a year ago, I purchased this camper trailer. I can see why a lot of you go from your conventional tents and rooftop tents to your camper trailers and caravans, especially as you start putting a bit more age on. My camper came with two batteries and they were lead crystal batteries. So I was kind of super excited when I heard that because there's been some good reports and there's been bad reports. From the reviews, the, the research I've done into it, if you looked after the batteries, they actually worked quite well. And there's specific charging algorithms that you have to adhere to to get the most out of those batteries and if you do that they're actually a very good battery and they will last a long time. So this camper trailer was six years old and unfortunately after I went camping the first couple of times I found that the batteries were just dead. So my guess is it hadn't been looked after properly. I'd say it's a pretty good assumption because there was very little maintenance ever done to this, I was going to say old girl, but she's not an old girl. She's only six years old. We're coming on to seven now. It was six years old when I purchased it, and it's a year older now. Boy, how time flies by. <laughs> One year since I bought this. Unbelievable. I had to put a whole new wiring system in it. I had to put all new plumbing redesigned the plumbing, put a hot water system in, and then also put a diesel heater in it. So, funds, it's not all there. I'm not made of money, guys. <laughs> this is probably what some of you might think. I've got this awesome system in me four drive. Well, I'll run it off that. And sure, that's good. But then, I don't want to be stuck at camp all the time. I want my four drive free. So I've got a fridge freezer in here. All right, all I'll have batteries or something charging inside there. Well, what am I gonna do when I wanna drive away? I have to cook this up and take this cart list with me everywhere just so I can keep the fridge running because the battery's no good. My mate buddy Steve from Saw Adventures and Annie, Winnie and Jasper, Hi guys, <laughs> appreciate what you've done for me. Those who watched the video that I linked to earlier on will know exactly what I'm talking about. But for those who didn't watch it, let's do a quick explanation. Steve, a good buddy of mine, had a lifetime 200 amp hour battery given to him for review purposes. So Steve had a talk with Annie Winnie and Jasper. Winnie and Jasper will say yes to anything as long as I show him a cheerio. He said, Phil, so I'm going to help you out. He said, I'm going to give you this 200 amp hour lithium. I was gobsmacked. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So what a life change that, what is life changes. So in the meantime, now that battery's been in there for eight months. So I've had a good chance to use it. And in the meantime, Steve recently had a contact from Lightime and asked how's that battery going? And Steve said, well, I'm gonna be honest, I gave it to a mate of mine who really needed it more than I did. So they contacted me and asked if I could do a video on this. And guys and Lightime, thank you very much. They asked if I want to help col collaborate with them. And I said, yes, straight away. So they're sending me another battery out. <laughs> how cool is that? 120 amp hour battery that I'm gonna do a review on it very shortly. Bit of an unboxing. 
and it is a marine slash four drive off-road battery so it's got many versatile uses of course it's life po4 technology so i thought now's the time to do a review and what i think about the lifetime batteries which is currently installed in here i installed this battery july last year which is about eight months after the new regulations came in so i couldn't just grab this battery boop, whack it in there anywhere hook it up la -di da happy joe there's new regulations so it has to be inside a sealed container vented to the outside and that's what i've done in here and let me tell you guys these batteries are good value for money particularly when they come with a five-year guarantee 2560 watt hours of energy output 1280 watts of continuous output energy it will perfectly match up with your 1000 watt or 1500 watt inverters if you want to run your aircon you're probably going to need two of these batteries and join them together which will double that capacity and double the continuous output that you get out of that and plus it'll give you that 400 amp hours and the guys these batteries are cheap enough to do that so it's not like they're costing mega bucks and it's just going to drain your bank balance bms which provides 100 percent protection against overcharging over discharging over current overheating and short circuits and it's virtually a third of the weight of a conventional 12 volt 200 amp hour lead acid battery so that's your AGMs you really have to watch the weight that you're towing or you got in your vehicle now it uses EV grade grade A life PO4 cell batteries you know what I think about battery cells if you are following my channel particularly of late I've got a few videos up where I'm talking about the technologies in the cells that are used in today's batteries I think for our situation particularly in our climate where it's of so much warmer where it can dramatically the heat can build up it's very important that you make sure you've got safe chemistries cells inside your caravan your four-wheel drive your camper trailer wherever you use and even inside the house it's very important you've got safe chemistry and, and and of those the life po4 is the best to use and plus it's got 4,000 plus cycles at 100 percent discharge so these batteries are going to last you a very very long time my advice is make sure you've got a good quality lithium charger if you go if you're going to go get your solar charger make sure it's got a lithium profile your ac charger make sure it's got a lithium power profile i know there's talks going around people claim it's safe to use a standard charger on these yeah in some ways it probably is okay you can get away with it but you're going to dramatically reduce the life of that battery because it's not going to fully charge it or charge it correctly so it's important you use a proper lithium charger and they're not very expensive nowadays it's as i mentioned before if you find your 100 amp hours continuous discharge if you find that's not enough you can get another battery and parallel them together and that will give you 200 amp hour discharge and you want to run it off grid particularly with the aircon to, to an extent I don't expect you're going to be able to run it 24 hours a day but you'll be surprised if you've got a good solar system on top of your caravan you'll be able to run it throughout the day and probably still charge your battery and then manage to run it for most of the night to keep the van cool and then hopefully you've got sunshine the next day to replenish your batteries for example let's say you parallel four together that's going to give you a 
800 amp power battery capacity. 800 amp power. As I mentioned, Life PO4 prismatic cells, which are one of the best of the Life PO4 batteries out there. Five year guarantee, 4,000 cycles when you discharged 100%. And that's right, guys, these batteries you can use 100% of the capacity, not like your conventional lead acids, which they recommend not to go anywhere below 50%. Because as soon as you go below that, you dramatically have reduced the life of that battery. 2560 watt hours of energy and a lot of you is now starting to understand watt hours more so i like to give you that that information which of course in simple terms it's 200 amp hours of energy 100 amp hour bms maximum continuous output power is 1280 watts maximum continuous car charge current is 100 amp hours and maximum continuous discharge is 100 amp hour. And it weighs 19.8 kilos. So that's pretty good for a 200 amp hour battery. Not so long ago, when this would have come out, it came with two lead crystal batteries that weigh something like 35 kilos plus. So it's 70 kilos in this camper van. I've reduced that down to 20 kilos, right? 20 kilos from 70, you worked that out. I don't know how good your maths are, but my maths tell me that's 50 kilos saving. And not only is that 50 kilos saving, I've got access to a full 200 amp. Whereas with the lead crystals, at best, Half of that, 120, 120, half of that, I had access to 120 amp. And not just that, when you're talking Life PO4 batteries, they charge a lot quicker. They love energy, they love energy. The more energy you can put in them, the better they are. So they're designed to be used, not like your lead acid batteries, your AGMs where they didn't like being used. I like to best stay at 100% capacity as much as possible. They don't like to be used. These Life PO4 batteries, they like to be used. Don't have the same mindset as what you have with your lead batteries where you think you've got to keep them on charge all the time, keep them charge all the time, keep the charge charges. Char they need to go through a cycle. They need to go through a cycle. Yeah, it's fine if you go to a camp, campground somewhere and you want to run your aircon overnight, but you want to get up in the morning early and move off traveling to a remote area. Yeah, leave it on. I'd do it. Leave it on. That's fine. That's fine. As long as it's not every day, all day thing, use them. Use them. Get the charge out of them. Guys, they've got 4,000 plus cycles, so they're going to last a long time. So there's no reason not to. And they're happier that way. It's how they're designed to be used. So, mate, this battery in here powers my hot water system, powers my diesel heater, powers my fridge freezer, which is 75 litres. It powers all my charging ports, my water pumps, no problems at all. My vehicle can remain freedom. I can jump in that car, drive off, and go wherever I want and not worry about anything that's powered in here. Got a light here, outdoor light. Absolutely perfect. And anyways, 20 kilos, saving a 50 kilos over a, another battery system that only gave me 120 amp hours. Now, what do I think of the light time? I've owned this for a long time now, eight months I've been using it. I think they're a terrific battery. I've got no complaints about it, guys. They're well made. Uh, the companies are awesome to deal with. The instructions, guys, wait till you see 
the unboxing that I'm going to do very shortly, the publications, the paperwork, the instructions that they send you is just far above any other companies out there. Absolutely awesome. So spot on for you guys at light time. At the time of filming, I just had a look. They got a sale on now and they're actually cheaper than the equivalent here in Australia. Take my word for it, you won't go wrong with one of these. Absolutely awesome battery. So this video is long enough. <laughs> Let's throw, go and check out Steve, if you haven't watched it yet, Steve from Saw Adventures up here, Saw Adventures channel, and he looks, he's got some good review videos there on that battery as well. So guys, till next time, look after yourself, be kind to everyone, eh? and cheers. Bye.